What we've done basically is we've created a way to have students reflect um, after we give them an assessment. So we typically do this with every unit test and today we're going to be looking at the midterm results. We've created basically a sheet for kids to fill out. They get their test back and they talk about what questions they got right, what questions they got wrong. But then we ask them to go a, uh, a step further that I don't think you always get with data programs, which is why did you get it wrong? Did you misread it? Did you um, not understand a vocabulary word? Did you get the wrong concept? Did you truly not understand it? Or did you just not answer it completely? And so what we're gonna be doing today is kind of going through some of that and then Based on what we see, what are our next steps? We also tried to make a couple of ways to help kids based on what they, what their struggles were. If there's a vocabulary, if that was one of the problems is vocabulary, then we made, um, we basically listed the vocabulary words and we've got a uh, flashcard activity for them to do if that is what, um, what their struggle was. One of the new things we did this year was is the next pile over. And again, that's kind of in the, I don't know, is that kind of the, in the alpha phase right now? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, so not we're debating yet. We're trying to figure out, we think that a lot of kids are simply misreading or misunderstanding or they're not getting the pertinent information out of a reading. We've developed kind of a strategy to maybe get them, let's get you highlighting, let's get you rewriting, let's get you really focusing on what the question asks for. What we wanna do is find out if, number one, if they really need that. So that's what we're gonna be looking at the midterm reflections for. Uh, and number two, if we got to make any changes to that. Checks. Most most of my check marks are in wrong concept. Right. Surprisingly little is in vocab, which I'm not sure I really I, believe. Yeah, I, I think that's interesting too. Uh, that was my that was my least because I check. know for a fact that during both of my sections tests, I had at least six people from each class ask me what entropy was, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at the wrong answers for entropy, and yeah. I'd say half of them are saying vocab, which I believe is right, mm -hmm. and the other half is saying wrong concept. And where I see wrong concept, it's like all the wrong things are wrong concept. Yeah. Dude, yeah. It's like saying it's, I, don't know. I don't know. It's the cop out, yeah. even though they don't. It, it, I it's agree not, you know, and I don't want to take it off because the wrong concept. Is there for kids that really just get the wrong concept? So maybe the way to make it happen so that they're not automatically putting wrong concept is make it harder to get back points if they put wrong concept. Unless yeah. it's really the wrong concept that they... Right, or you can ask specifically what concept they got wrong. Yeah. And then that will prevent them from just, okay, checking it. Because then they'll actually have to go and say, it was this right. concept that I mixed up. Did you notice any of the trends? And a lot of kids are writing. I mean, it's pretty easy if they did it right. They're checking these boxes and they're saying misreads. Mm -hmm. So I know that if that document is good, if we agree that that's good, I know I want to go forward with doing yeah. something that addresses the misreads. Misreading, the, either misreading the question or not getting the information. Now, with the exception of maybe moving around a little bit, um, I'm wondering if we like the questions that we that we're using. So, like on the second page. I'm actually glad that we picked, you know, doing a diagram as it's well. It's not just keywords in text, it's also mm -hmm. keywords in tables and, and um, key information in tables and pictures and things like that. So if we think going forward this is a good idea, I'm wondering should we, and I emailed this all to you guys, uh, I'm wondering what needs to be um, changed. It's not added. just what's in the document. But what's, what's in the question? The question? So, maybe, so maybe in the in the directions we rewrite it as highlight, underline, key piece of information in the text and the question? Could be, yeah. Just so that we can All right, have so that you're there. saying, okay, highlight key pieces in the text and in the question. Do we feel like this is a good idea to go forward with? We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well try it. I think so. I know that you guys are are new this year. Mike and I have been having this conversation for years. What's the discrepancy between, you know, their course grade and the reading grade? So I think that something like this is helpful not only for kids that struggle with the midterm, but the kids like you said missed one question. Mm -hmm. Okay, they missed one question this time. But when they take the regions, that one question might be enough to get them out of the A range, might be enough to get them out of the mastery range. So it's definitely something that we can work on. Um, with those type of kids too. Do you think <laughs> that what we developed for vocabulary would also help those that say they had the wrong concept? Absolutely. Yeah, I think it that would. would be huge. Maybe we do or don't have a quick fix for the one-on-one. -on -one. But Do we have any way to make it a little bit more engaging than the just 
talking about the questions. That's a good point. Because I did it with somebody just last period, and she got a 76, which wasn't good for her, but she wants, she is a superstar, and she just had a bad test, so we went over it. Well. And I did a lot of the talking because I know that works for her. She just wants to hear me explain it, and then after I'm done explaining it, she writes her notes. Right. And that's that. But that wouldn't work for a kid, another kid I have in mind. Right. I'd have to do something where they were doing more of the work. I mean, I have a suggestion. Yeah, you can, so start with whatever they miss the most and give them a little reteaching on that. And then say, they've got the reflection sheet so they know exactly what questions are on that. Right. Okay, so now that, now that I've retaught you that, go back and look at those questions. So that puts it back on them. They can redo the questions and see if they understand And then we can it. go over it from Exactly, there. so then you can check to see. As far as okay. next steps go, we, we all like this, edits, we're yep. going to do this. And yep. then we're all in agreement that if kids failed and they want to do something extra, they've got to do one or the other, depending mm -hmm. on what they first before they can make an appointment. Yeah. And that could happen during advisement or after school, we have shared the reflection sheet with other PLCs in the in the building. Um, mostly, if somebody asks, "Hey, I'm trying to do this. What you know? Does anybody have uh, any ideas on that?" Which is basically student reflection.